On the Lifesteal SMP, I am constantly being killed in my secret bases. They always end up getting found somehow, and I always end up dying in them. And because of how often this happens, I always go out of my way to hide my secret bases from the other players on the server. However, despite how well known I was for being secret about my bases, a player named Planet Lord asked if he could just come and visit. Now, this was unbelievably suspicious, because normally whenever someone visits your base, they are there to kill you. However, Planet Lord wasn't really the type of player to kill me, not only because he's pretty friendly, but also because he has three hearts. Now, this wasn't because he was bad at the game or anything. This was actually completely his choice. But regardless, he's still like a five shot. Now, was this some kind of genius strategy to make players underestimate him? Probably, because despite everything I said, I decided to let Planet Lord visit my base. Now, the only way this could go badly for me is if, I don't know, someone followed Planet Lord to our base, or maybe he gets held hostage and he's forced to give out where my base is. I have a lot of enemies right now, so it's totally possible one of those things could happen. Happen. However, after a week of Planet Lord frequently visiting my base, literally nothing bad had happened. This honestly felt really nice. I haven't been able to trust anybody on the server for like a while. So being able to give my base location to someone and not getting immediately screwed over was pretty cool. I finally put my trust into someone who wasn't one of my immediate teammates. I felt like I had grown in some sort of way. It's like I was finally breaking out of my cocoon and turning into a beautiful butterfly. A butterfly that could trust people in Minecraft. And then things got really, really weird. Because one day while I was wandering around my base, I noticed a lot of things were very different. For example, yeah, is... there was snow under the tree that covers my base, which was really weird because normally snow lands on top of the tree and not on the grass under the tree. However, the strangest thing was the missing shulkers. I had a barrel full of shulkers and like a good row of them were gone. So naturally, I asked my teammates and they had no idea what had happened. So then I asked Planet Lord and he immediately confessed saying, yeah, I accidentally blew up a creeper by your base. And yeah, your teammates sold me some shulkers the other day. Which is really strange because my teammates didn't mention that. So I asked Planet Lord if he broke a bed inside of the base, something that hadn't even happened. And he said, yeah, lol, that was me. And this made me freak out. Oh my god, no, 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 That means Planet Lord was lying to me. I have no idea why, and I am not staying in this base to find out. So I grabbed every valuable item that I could carry and ran as far away from the base as fast as I could. Because chances are, he's waiting for an opportunity to kill me, or has sold my base location to my enemies, and was now trying to cover for their sloppiness. Regardless of whatever scenario it was, I was not staying in that base. So I set up a little camp inside of this random village, and that's when I got another DM from Planet Lord. He told me that he had some crazy information that I just needed to know about, and he wanted to meet up with me tomorrow so that he could tell me all about it. Now, I wasn't quite sure if this information was going to be worth dying over, because there's no way Planet Lord isn't trying to kill me tomorrow. But regardless, if Planet Lord says that I really need this information, then I probably really need this information. And hopefully, it'll explain what's been going on around my base. So Planet and I were set to meet up the following day. I'm gonna try stashing the shulkers here. I think that's a good idea. It doesn't seem like anyone's in the area. I hope I don't drop down and just get attacked by like a million players. Let's go into the floorboards. Well, this sucks. Okay. Yeah. This is our shulker. Our our shulker, shulker box, you could say. Everything from the Eclipse base has been moved, so that's cool. There is nothing valuable in the Eclipse base. I'm ready to have a meeting with the Lord now. I'm, I feel safe. If I need to fight someone, I can just run for my life. It'll be fine. Planet Lord is a trustworthy individual. That's true. I kind of trust Planet Lord, I think. Surely nothing bad happens. I don't think anything, nothing bad will happen to me today. Today is a good day for Prince Sam. Wretch, wretch, we are the wretch. Oh Even if it gets while we all cheer. I, I'm just, I cannot handle anything. Like, my little heart cannot handle this man. I, I'm not, I'm not ready to die. Okay, so after waiting at the meetup location for like 15 to 30 minutes, Planet Lord told me that he actually wasn't at the location and had given me the wrong coordinates. And now, instead wanted to meet me at my base. This was really, really weird and suspicious. But I mean, hey, maybe he did make a mistake. Maybe he did give me the wrong set of cords. Cords that were supposed to be, you know, his. But whatever, you know, 
common mistake, I'm sure. Anyways, Planet wants me to meet him at my base, which is hilarious because the cords that he sent me are 5,000 blocks away from my base. Almost like he was trying to get me to avoid the area while he set something up. Yeah, that was like a thousand percent what was going on. But regardless, Planet said the only way I was getting this info was if I made my way back to the base right now. So like the idiot I am, I immediately began traveling over 5,000 blocks by foot. And after so much walking, I was finally at my base and ready for my meeting with the Lord. All I could do now was just hope that he didn't kill me. Are you inside the base? I didn't know that there's dripstone under it. I'm gonna jump Wait, I don't down. see your crown. Are you lying to me? Hey. Oh, there you are. Oh my god. What's well, like your relationship with like the Leviathan, right? I don't like them. So I have a bit of bad news. I know you love this face, right? But Prince Sam, I'm so sorry. What the f was that actually TNT? No, no, I'm kidding. Oh, oh, what? Wait, what happened? What happened? <laughs> Safe out of your face. <laughs> Planet! <laughs> yeah. What's that? Hey, Are you, you serious? You yeah, kill me. Kill me. Yeah, say bye to your ugly base. What? Your base sucks. It's Why trash. are you mean? Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, kill me. Yeah, you know what? Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. No, I'm not going to. But I'm also not letting you leave without finishing your expl- Okay, stop that. Nope. I'm gonna leave. Uh, okay. How did I For even them, teleport there? What? Let's just say it, it'll all make sense soon. No, come back. No, explain. I'm right behind you. you. Explain. All right. You're not you, out purling me. Come Bye. back. Finally, bro. I was waiting for this. Piece bro, now. shut bro. up. <laughs> oh my goodness, dog. All right, all bro, right, right, spoke. You need to stop talking. Planet Lord just blew up my entire base. What? <laughs> he just blew up the. <laughs> he blew up your base. Now he's teabagging you, bro. Yeah, I've popped him in an obsidian box. He just you know, he's throwing all he's yeah, throwing all stuff okay. on the ground. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Typically, I'd call someone broke if they killed Planet Lord, but like, bro, he's trolling me kind of hard right here. Broke, you're so broke. <laughs> bro! He actually blew up my base. What the? That's what he was farming gunpowder for. Oh my god! And then he wanted me to kill him as well. Who's that? Bacon? Hey. Hey! Hey! Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. He's just not joining the call. Oh, is my mic working now? Yeah, hi. Yeah, Sorry. you knew about this, didn't you? You knew about this, didn't you? I didn't you know about this. this. You I didn't know about, about this. this. You knew about this. Listen, man. Why did he do it? 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 Tell me. Listen, man. It'll all make sense soon. That you suck. You suck for that. You suck for that. You, you really suck for that. I want you to know. Oh, did you throw another one? I see that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. I don't know. He had a full fighting inventory on him. Why didn't he fight me? Oh my god. Okay, I'm leaving this call by spoke. Goodness gracious me. Surely this is a test? Yeah, I, I, I think this has to be a test. There's no way. Maybe it's all a test to see whether I'd sow the seeds of violence or not. Or like, you know, continue the ever perpetuating cycle of, you know, revenge. What the f- I thought it was a prank. I really thought it was a prank. I need to write signs. I need to- I, I need to write signs on the wall. I need to write signs on the wall. Or I could kill him. Or I could write signs on the wall. Or I could kill him. Or I could write signs on the wall. He just manipulated me. Okay, no. I don't need a board. I don't need a board. He just manipulated me for months. Not months. Sorry, I'm exaggerating now. Wow, huh? Right before he blew everything up, he asked me how I felt about me picking a row. So clearly he wants to get my mind on Leviathan. He wants my mind to be on Mapic and Rochambeau. Why would Bacon have so much gear and not fight back at all? That's another good question. I guess if I use this, I can check if he's in the nether or not. Maybe he's trying to prove something. Maybe he is trying to convince Mapic and Ro to trust him. Oh my god. I need to find him. Think out loud, where could he be? Well, if he's not here in any of these portals, that could mean he's at spawn. Endmen farm for levels? Uh, I don't know. Even when he blew up the TNT, I thought it was going to be all one big elaborate prank, but in the end, he still kind of just blew everything up. I can't believe this. I'd never expect this from Planet at all. Maybe that's why he keeps saying Maypick and Ro don't even care about me. Because he's part of their team and knows that they don't want to kill me anymore. Planet just messaged me 
Don't end stream yet, the fun is just beginning. So yeah, the traumatizing wasn't over. Planet Lord still had more plans for me. And knowing this had me terrified. Because if the fun is just getting started, that means whatever happens next was going to be bigger than Planet Lord blowing up my entire base. And the only thing Planet could really do that was bigger than blowing up my base would be blowing up my castle. You see, my castle is the only build on the server that's actually special to me. So if anything were to happen to it, I would lose my marble. So I immediately ran to my castle as fast as I could in order to protect it from any evil planet lords that might want to blow it up. However, after waiting around for him to show up, he kind of never did, so I figured it was safe to assume he wasn't going to blow up my castle. Now, I have no idea what this planet lord guy was up to, but he did tell me that he'd be done with whatever it was in about 15 minutes. So to pass the time, I decided to do what I normally do when I'm bored, and that's write down how I feel on signs in Minecraft. Something that I do quite often on the server, and it really helps me deal with the constant stress and paranoia I face every single day while playing on the Lifesteal SMP. Okay. Planet blew up the entirety of my abandoned base and asked me to kill him. Before blowing up the base, he wanted to know how I felt about the Leviathan. After I killed him, Bacon Waffles showed up, died in front of me, trying to get away from me while full invis. The reason this is all such a big issue is because I trusted him. I really didn't think Planet Lord had the capacity to betray me. He, he, he made me drop my guard and used me to find my base. And overall, it just really hurt to be betrayed like that. I wish I could understand why he chose to do what he did. I really hope he isn't working with me big and row. That would be the worst case scenario. Question is, what the f*** do I do now? It's just us online. I don't know why he's whispering. 15, are you kidding me? I could find and kill Planet Lord. I would potentially be banning him. Definitely the worst option, because I really don't want to hurt him. Option two, find and give him back the heart I stole from him. This is definitely the the best option, it's just issue is literally no idea where he is. And then option three, do nothing, just wait and see what'll happen. I should just give him the heart back and try to forget about all of this because I moved out of the base anyways. I shouldn't try to make enemies with Planet Lord. I should, I, okay, end of the day, I should not try to make enemies with Planet Lord. Hello, are you on your way? I am on my way. Are you gonna kill me? No, why would I do that? Well, let's begin our walk. Okay. Hey, what do you think about Maypick and Roe, by the way? Uh, not the greatest. They're not great people. So let me, let me start from the beginning. You, you made that base to, I guess, be safe from them, right? So how would you feel if that base got found? Not the greatest, I'd probably be dead. Well, I have some interesting news for you. That base has been found by Mapic. And if that's true, how come he hasn't done anything? I don't know, I actually couldn't tell you. I'm sure you see where I'm going with this, right? You blew it up so that they wouldn't hurt me. There's also a bit more to it. Um, follow me in here. Okay. Welcome to your new basement, Sam. What? Let's take a look inside. Alright. Oh! <laughs> what the f- It's your new base, you like it? <laughs> You're safe from them now. Oh my god. Oh Not my even. god. Take it, I don't want it. No, no, why would you burn it? That's right. Everything that happened today was all part of one big prank. Literally all of the trauma I went through. It was all just a joke. And can you believe it? All for the purpose of giving me a base that my enemies can't find. Like that's absurd. What a nice guy. I guess the moral of the story here is that at the end of the day, it's okay to trust people. Anyway, speaking of trusting people, want to see me betray the trust of my teammates and pull an awesome prank on them? Go live three. Subs. I... Dude, Planet just trapped me. I yeah, I kind of need some help. Are you being devious? I'm kind of trapped right now. I, I need something from you. From both you of need... you. Oh, from both of us. This is like not very Zan? Planet Lord behavior. <laughs> yeah, if you, you like turned Zan? evil. <laughs> this is not I, I know, right? It's, it's crazy. crazy. What is going on? Yeah, our entire base was blown up in front of me. I didn't think it was real. Um, he trapped me, and now I'm kind of just stuck in a box, and I don't know what to do. All right, Plan yeah. One. What, what, do you, what do you want exactly for us to get Prince Land back? What, I, I don't Need know what you're being held here. hostage. Okay, let's, let's go face to face. Sam, yeah? this isn't funny. I don't know why you're what laughing. Do you mean? Um, okay, good point. Good point. You're right. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm not in the mood for dying, I'm gonna be honest with you. Zam's not like, in the mood for dying either. And do you well, yeah, yeah, Zam's help? obviously not in the mood for dying. I, I do want to help him, but I want to be assured that, like, I'm not gonna okay. die in the process of helping Zam, you know? So, I, I don't know what's going on here. We, we just logged on, we haven't really been informed of anything yet. You said go to these cards, I know nothing else. You know what, Planet, go ahead. Kill Zam all you what want. What the No, 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 no. Zam, these are your teammates, bro. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god. Where'd you guys end up? Oh. 
Oh, hey, hey guys. guys. Hi. Surprise. Hey, uh, oh my god. Why the dogs? dogs? <laughs> Who, whose Surprise. dogs are these? Bro? Surprise. Guys. What? Guys, what? this is your new base. It's what? a new base. I, I was worried. <laughs> I was worried play was going to kill us. No, we're safe. Guys, we yeah. have a base that maybe Kenro can yeah, can't actually... find anymore, by the way. So the best part about this base, I know you guys entered through the nether roof, but... You're gonna break that afterwards because base is fully accessible through the netherite tunnels, and that means that there's no trace of it on the nether roof. Yeah. Oh, oh, villagers! Wait, I just the realized base. these yeah. are different cores. These are not. This isn't. The, I thought this was the yeah. same base for some reason. We're at a whole different area. You're safe here. It's completely oh safe. We're finally. We finally have a home. This is huge.